Kefernebol lies about 50 kilometers south of the city of Idlib, a focus of bitter fighting at the height of the conflict in Syria. On May 5th, 2019, its hospital became a target. Over a 20-minute period of that day, Kefernebol's hospital was hit at least four times by airstrikes. Hospitals are protected under international law. There was no fighting nearby. The front line was around 20 kilometers away, and the hospital was being used exclusively as a civilian hospital. So who carried out the attack on Kafernobol's hospital? The evidence overwhelmingly points to Russia and its air force, which was supporting the Syrian regime. Before the first strike, civilian plane spotters observed a Russian aircraft taking off from an airbase used exclusively by the Russian Air Force. It headed southeast. These communications between Russian pilots and the ground control were recorded by the network of flight observers. Over the next 15 minutes, a Russian pilot identified by the call sign 72 talks with ground control about the package. He confirms that he has received it, got the package. A reference to targeting data. At 1728, ground control gives him authorization to make the first strike. They use a code word to confirm approval, 777. At around 17.30, the pilot tells ground control that he has carried out the strike. He says, Srabotal, meaning worked it. <laughs> Cockpit recordings and flight observations are not the only evidence pointing to the Russian Air Force. The use of drones for reconnaissance before the attack, the tactical approach taken, the marking on the planes, the accuracy of the strike and the munition used all point to Russia. Kafarnobol was not alone. At least two other hospitals came under similar aerial attack in just 12 hours. According to Physicians for Human Rights, there have been more than 600 attacks on medical facilities during the conflict in Syria. Since Russia's intervention in the war in 2015, the vast majority, over 85%, was carried out by the Syrian government or allied Russian forces. Reporting by the New York Times has already highlighted Russia's role in the Kefernobol attack. Now, a family member of two brothers killed by the attack and the organization that was running the hospital at the time of the attack are bringing a complaint against Russia to the United Nations. It's time for justice.